people and welcome to something new by yours truly, the Video Gaming Bear. This is Fallout 2, the sequel to obviously Fallout. Um, I've done a playthrough of Fallout, uh, went pretty smoothly, nice game to play through, so I'm here to do the sequel, because why not? You know, if I can do the first one and it went so well, why not play the second one? Um, so, I mean, yeah, let's get cracking. Um, this is different because right now I'm actually live streaming this. Um, so, um, no one's actually watching at the moment. But this was done live on, I don't even know what date is, and I can't check right now. Oh, actually, let me see. Um, the 15th of April, 2014, is when I'm doing this now, and it's live on Twitch. So from now on, I'm hoping to do these um, recording sessions through Twitch. Um, this game in particular, because... Um, oh, let me move my mic. Um, this game in particular, because Fraps, for some reason, really fucks it over, and I don't know why. But even the first game ran alright with Fraps, so I'd, I really don't understand why it's doing that, but yeah. So I'm here on Twitch, um, I do have the chat open so I can see if anyone's talking, although I don't know if I'm going to be doing that much because I don't really want it to turn into chat fest, where I'm constantly getting distracted and reading things, but if people come in and they have anything nice to say, then I will check it out, but if they don't have anything nice to say, I'm just going to ignore you, so don't bother, um, I'm tired of trolls and stuff, but yeah. So basically, I'm just putting that at the front of this, just to say, this is live from now on. Um, and if you want to check whenever I'm going live, go to twitch.tv forward slash video gaming bear. And maybe you'll see me on there a few times and you can interact with me if you have anything nice to say. Anyway, right now, how's about we just get underway? Oh, I've been waiting to do this for a while. It's actually took me a good long while to get started on this. Um, I did plan to do this weeks ago, but I've just been kept getting pulled back and stuff. And Yeah, but I'm here now, so um, that's good at least. Um, right, so character creation, woo. Um, like the first game, you've got preset characters. They're not just little um, sprite animations this time. Now they're actually full on... Uh, models, I guess, in this thing. You've got Nag. Um, exceptional physique. Nag seems like um, the strength. The strengthy guy of this game. The brute force guy. Um, yeah. you got Mingan. <laughs> Mingan looks like he's um, a bit more of a perceptive type. Um, he, he observes his surroundings. Maybe he's a bit more sneaky. He tries to... Um, be smart about things, I guess. And then you have Chitsa, who is the political character, I guess. The person who wants to talk away out of everything. She has sex appeal. Um, you know, sexist. God, Fallout 2 creators. Sexist. It's not good, that. Anyway, yeah, um, we're not going to take any of those, because, like last time, we're going to create a character. woo and right now, I'll tell you now, this guy's going to be Grizz. Um, in the vein of my Borderlands character name. Um, we'll take him down to age 21. So he's a year older than in Fallout 1. He's a male. And another thing I'll just mention right now is... Look at this. Ooh, you've got a race. You've got a style. Race doesn't have any options right yet. But um, this wouldn't actually be there. Um, the only reason that's there is because I'm running a mod, which is Killap's uh, Fallout 2 Restoration Project. And I'd recommend it if you're going to play this game, because basically when they released Fallout 2, for some reason a lot of stuff was cut out of the game. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, but there's probably missed reasons for each individual thing. But basically stuff was cut out, some stuff was kept in, blah de blah um... But this guy came called Killap and he was like, hey, you know what, Fallout 2 is a good game and all, but I'm going to make it better by putting back all the the bad stuff. Um, all the, well, all the stuff that was cut out. And so he did, and the game as a result, even though it's amazing as it was, is even better now. 
Um, so that's nice. It's a good mod, and yes, like I said, I recommend it. So yeah. Um, but because of it, um, there is a race option here, but there's nothing there. I don't know if that's meant to be in a future update and stuff, but honestly, I don't even know if the mod's been updated anymore. I don't think so, but you can choose hairstyles. You can be the default guy. You can have long hair. You can be bald. I'm going to go with long hair. I'm going to go with the Conan the Barbarian style um, tribesman guy. It's pretty cool. Um, special skills, I'm going to give him six strength. Uh, 7 Endurance, 6 Charisma, and 6 Agility. Uh, I'm going to try and... I'm, wanna, I'm going for a balanced kind of guy. Well, not really balanced, but I want him to be a bit more brute force than Ted was. Um, Ted was a lot more intelligence based. You know, because he was a smart guy, he was from a vault, so it kind of makes sense. Whereas in this case, is he lives in a tribe in like some village in the middle of a desert, so... I mean, really, in a post-apocalyptic world, as a tribesman, would you be smart? Would you be intelligent? Probably not. So, I'm going to go for the brute force route instead. Optional traits are more or less the same as what's in the first game. You know, I didn't pick any in the first game because, meh. Um, there are some added, though, I think. The sex appeal is one of them. And I do like the light sound of it. You've got the right stuff. Members of the opposite sex are attracted to you, but those of the same sex tend to become quite jealous. Now that sounds it could be interesting. That sounds like it could be interesting. So I'm going to take that. Uh, you've got skilled and gifted. Were they in the first game? I don't remember. I don't know. Uh, I'm not the Fallout pro. Um, yeah. And tag skills, like the last game, these are pretty important. Um, to him keeping the same, speech doctor but I'm opting to swap out small guns in this game for energy weapons because last time energy weapons saved my life and so yeah I want them to keep saving my life and the only way they're gonna be able to do that is if I make sure that they are leveled up enough so I'll make it attack skill I will probably still put points into small guns because I assume I'll be using small guns before I get to energy weapons. Uh, but yeah, I mean, unarmed has a big boost to start with anyway, so if all goes bad, I can fall back on that, I guess. But yeah, that's it. This is Grizz. This is who we're going to be rolling with for the next god knows how many parts. Probably like loads more than the first game, I think. This game is a lot bigger than Fallout 1. Um, I'll, I'll put a... Um, you see the thing is I don't know how I'm doing parts since this is a live stream I'm just gonna have to cut it up into pieces but, it, but it'll basically be all one part uh, just cut up into loads of other parts because I won't be doing intros and stuff um, I just have to take each streaming session and cut it up into pieces basically um, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work but I'm gonna make an estimate 50 parts Something around there, maybe. Maybe more, maybe less. I don't know. Depends on how things go, I guess. But, uh, hey, there that, hey, that rhyme, Dave. We got me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is Grizz. Uh, get used to him. Anyway, here we go. Let's begin. Plot development. Come in, chosen one. There are things you must know. The village is dying. The signs are everywhere. Withering crops. Dying Brahmin. Sick children. There is hope, however. A slim hope. That few know of. The old discs speak of an item called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It is said it can bring life to the wasteland. This will be your quest, if you prove yourself worthy. For that proof, you must first journey to the Temple of Trials. If you survive, Come back to me. We will talk more. Our life is in your hands, Chosen One. Prove yourself. 
find the Gek be our salvation. So there's the plot outline for this game. We are going to search for the Gek, but first we have to prove ourselves in the Temple of Trials. Um, one thing I'm going to put out now, um, like the first game where I sort of, I didn't necessarily role play because I didn't run around um, going, I'm Ted, I'm the Vault Dweller, but I did keep in a role in a sense by not acting on things that I already know about and I'm going to try and do that this time. I'm not going to be smarter than my own character, I'm going to do exactly as he knows as I think he would do and you, you know I just it helps make RPGs better because the after all they are role-playing games you pick a role and you're supposed to play it so yeah I'm gonna try and do that as best I can um, this down here is a lot bigger isn't it was was the um, the text box this big because I don't remember it being so it seems a lot bigger to me um, so this is the Temple of Trials. Um, uh, I think this is meant to be pre-war. Because if this was built within the last 80 years, then that's impressive. But I think it's meant to be like an old thing. I mean, look, it's even got damage on it and stuff. I don't know why this would be out in the middle of, like, the, um... I don't know, the California desert. <laughs> it doesn't really look Californian. But yeah, um... Oh, what have we got here then? Before we go ahead, we've got Clint, a fellow tribesman. Hello. Good day to you, Grizz. You have not completed the trial of the Elder and may not pass. Um, I have some questions for you, Clint. Forgive me, but I have no answers to your questions. Take the trial set before you by the Elder and prove yourself worthy to lead our people. Uh, very well. Alright. Fine. Gonna be like that. Whatever. So we've got a map. That's the same as the first game. Inventory's all the same. We've got a spear on us right now. I'm not gonna use it. I think my skills with my own arm are better than my melee weapons. So I'll probably be better off not doing that. Really. We don't have a pit boy yet. So. That's interesting. Um, uh, this rock here tells you that you're running the restoration project. I'm not sure why the rock is there to say that, but I don't know. I guess that's how he put in the sign to show that it's a modified game, in a sense. Anyway, let's head inside, shall we? Oh. You are in a dark, musty temple. The shadows seem to play tricks with your eyes, and you can hear the faint sound of movement. Oh god, what have we got? Giant ants. Nice. Just what we need. Giant ants. Guess I can't complain too much. Um, oh, damn it. Alright. Looks like I might still get the first hit. Uh. Uh. Oh, what? Dead! Haha. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Oh. Oh, this one's not happy about that. Wait. I want to try and, like... Why... Why is things not coming at me? Come at me, bro. Uh. Ow. Four hit points. Come on. So yeah, this is basically a tutorial area right here, is what this is. 
just a big uh, temple where you fight enemies in a bid to prove yourself it's supposed to be prove myself to the village the village picks me as their chosen one and then says you have to prove yourself and it's like well pick me then pick someone who you know is good um, I can't loot these things I guess uh, don't look lootable to me alright well let's keep going Keep on going. <laughs> oh god, I hope no one stumbles onto this stream, you know. They'll hate me instantly. Um I guess we're going this way. Oh Where? Ah You sneaky oh what the fuck how many of them are there? You sneaky bastard! Oh. I keep seeing a lot of movement outside, it's doing my head in. Just people going about their daily lives. Whenever you do, don't disturb me. I'm live! People can watch me! Well, they can't watch me, but. God damn it! Ow. No. No. Maybe I should go for the kick instead. Wait, how do you swap to kick? There is a way. I don't know how though. How do I get the kick? I thought you just... Oh. You swap. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Oh shit, that kick's effective. Damn! That was nice. How much XP do I need to level up? Only 900 more! Oh boy. Uh, let me see how well is Doctor skill. Oh whoa, six hit points. That's 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 good for for a starting doctor to be honest. A starting doctor skill. Oh come on. Damn it. Oh one shot. Off we got here then. If we got here then. What's this? Pot. Healing powder. Hmm. Might come in handy. I oh mean, the only thing I need to like. I really could have done with like checking the time before I started streaming because I have no clue how long I'm going to be going now. Because although I said I'm just going to be cutting it up into random bits, I'd like at least to an estimate of where each thing can be cut into. I'm looking for like half hour parts, I guess, on average. Um, um, and yeah. You know, it's just like, I'd like to maybe take a break after each half an hour, maybe. Just like, a couple minutes, just to... I mean, I'll keep streaming, obviously, because it'd be pointless to turn it off, but... I'll just, like, stop, grab a drink or whatever if I need to. Son of a bitch. Poisoned! That ain't good. Oh, red scorp tails. Oh, wait, it's not even red scorps, it's lesser scorpions. Lesser scorpion? Run away. Ha! <laughs> P. 
puny. You lose. Is there anything here? Oh shit, what was that? Giant ant triggers the trap and now only involves the projectile shot from the wall. Alright, I thought it was me who did that then. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you could hear that. Actually, I hope. I didn't even check my game settings before I came into this. Um, hold on. Uh, I think that's how I had it in the first game, right? Yeah. I suppose it's better to hear me more than anything else, because there isn't much sound-wise going on, and whenever someone's talking or whatever, you can still hear me, so... As long as that's good. I might try and stick all this temple stuff into one part if I can. Oh, son of a bitch. Hold on. Ow. There you go. Alright, um, oh shit, I need to set up my quick save buttons. Alright, that's load. Why's that load? I thought. Did I not. Wait. How do you get to controls? Can you change controls? Probably not, actually. Um, F6 quick save, F7 quick load. Is it always like that? No, don't load. Yeah. Um, one. And then save. I'm running with two saves again. And then. Because it's better safe than sorry. The good thing about live streaming is that I'll never lose footage. Like, it literally won't be able to get corrupted because it's on Twitch, which is nice. Mm -mm. Son of a bitch. Ow. Oh god. I don't want to take on two at once. Can you use Doctor or in combat? That doesn't really make sense. Yeah. I was gonna say, wouldn't you be able to, like, take advantage of that? Wait, how do I get back to. Right. Oh man, I'm getting back in the swing. Back in the swing. Slowly. the same thing. How many of these can I carry? In fact, how much can I carry? See, I didn't check my carry weight or anything. One seven five. At the moment, I've got twenty four. Oh. Hmm. Not that heavy. I guess it's because they're not actually red scorpion tails. They're just lesser scorpion tails. Oh, sugar. Oh. If I'd have known you were here, I would have healed. Why did it give me two goes then? I don't want to die this soon. That'd be embarrassing. I said I don't want to die this soon. Thank you. Thank God. Doctor. Take damage from poison. God damn it. It's not good. Oh, 
Oh, actually, I think I can get some. Um, if I'm remembering right, there might be some... What button do you press that brings up, that like, highlights everything in the area? Hold on. A, attack, character screen, skill X, use sneak, show date and time. What? You can do that? You can do that? Decrease brightness, increase brightness? Huh. Control P. Pause. <gasps> you can push NPCs. Nice. I forgot about that. That's helpful. We'll never get Ian trapped in front of us again. Uh, I don't know where it is that highlights things, but I'm pretty sure you can. So wait, what, what, what brings up the date and time? Question mark. Huh. You know, just in case you forget what date it is. Because it's really important. Spear. What a crappy bag of bones you are. Oh. Door appears to be locked. Yay! Yay! Oh, pretty close to leveling up, actually. Huh. I remember this room. Traps ahoy. Where can I see the raised plates? Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh god, no, don't don't step on it. That would be bad. There we go. Bam! You dead. No. Oh. Sorry, got a bit distracted. Oh! Son of a ding. when it comes to these things. I wish I could see where everything was. Is there only the one? No! Oh, I was about to... Oh, well, do There you go. Oh, wait, did I get a tail from that one? Nope. Box. Chest, even. More healing powder. I'll do me. I'll do me, that lad. Ooh. What have we here? Pretty room. Pretty, pretty room. I'm going to save. <sighs> Pretty room indeed. Plastic explosives? Whoa! Who left that there? Come at me, Ant Man. Oh, I've got another go for some reason. Where's the other one? There it is. Ow. You're a strong gun. St 
Strong! I'll use first aid. Let me see how good I am with that. Probably not Vera. I could have sworn you get um, um, antidote somewhere in here. Oh, it might be here actually. Yep. I don't know if I want to use it though. Will it wear away? Oh, what? I might just get poisoned again instantly afterwards. And it'll be a waste. Oi, I'm bastard. I like that I'm getting multiple turns for some reason. Um, it's like the opposite of Fallout 1, where they kept fucking giving all my enemies extra turns. God damn it. Metal door, impenetrable. Oh boy, I wonder what we have to use. Right. Ready? Run. Oh shit, I didn't put it down. No! <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I don't know how I'm going to keep track of all my deaths in a live stream. Um, I'm just, I don't know, I might just get rid of the counter to be honest. Well, at least I saved nearish to where I was. God damn it. That was dumb. Come on then, you bastards! Ah! <laughs> Alright, antidote. I remember to put the bomb down now. Might help. You know, just, just might, a little bit. <gasps> I'm missing some opponents. What? I had more XP than that. The fuck? Did I miss one in here? Huh. I don't know. Anyway, no, fucking mm. the explosive detonates prematurely. Thanks, game. Thanks for blowing me up. Assholes. See a raised plate. Don't stand on it, Jesus Christ. 
<sighs> oh, caves. <gasps> A guy. Oh, I'm getting attacked. What? Come here. Come here. Oh, God damn it. What do we got up here? No! <clears throat> Scorpio. Why? Hit it. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Two antidotes. Damn. Well, I guess I'm getting XP, at least. This might go bad. Please. Ah! Please, no! Oh no, I can't use it. Or can I? <gasps> use on self. Do it. Kill it, dude! If I die by fucking scorpion. Jesus Christ. Whoo! Oh, look how close I am. <gasps> Yay! One more enemy. Victory is mine. I wanted to heal! Oh well. That went well. Bing! Ding! Level! Oh, I can't see ding. That's a borderlands thing. Heh. <laughs> Rhymes. And... Small guns. For now. <sighs> Empty. Why even put it there? Yeah. Figured it'd say that soon. Hello, you got a nice fire going? Greetings, Grizz. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? Uh... Can I ask you a few questions first? What would you like to know? Uh, is this a fight to the death? No, my friend. You need only defeat me. When the time comes, we will end the battle. Alright. You say that we are to fight unarmed? Yes, weapons tend to distance us from battle and desensitize the effect the effects of our actions against others. When you strike another human being with your bare fist, you both see and feel the pain you come you cause. Battle Battle becomes very personal and all too real then. This is an important lesson for you, Grizz. I understand. Alright, let's get this over with. Very well, shall we begin? Oh yeah. Excellent. Your equipment will be kept in the trunk outside of the room. You can get it after the fight. Let the fight begin. Good luck to you, Grizz. Oh, that's that trunk. It's why it's empty. Oh, I'm gonna... I might die. Dude, I might die. Dude. 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 Kick. Cameron. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
I needed to heal. Oh! oh no! Oh, my stuff's gone! Oh, I'm fucked. Oh my god, dude. You have defeated me. You're a worthy chosen one. Yeah, thanks for nearly killing me. Jesus. What happened to another fight to the death? Take all buttons, nice. Alright. What's this? Oh, I can't open it. I thought there might be something in it. Alright, what's... Let's go through the final door! What's inside? What do we got? What awaits?